everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Aaron Hinden here with Christine and Company. And today, I'm interviewing a good friend, Heidi Francis, who is the owner of Maven Mercantile, which is uh, handcrafted food, artisan foods. You come in, you pick them up. There's a little picnic area in the back, but mostly you pick them up and you take them home. Oh my God, they're so good. And she's great, a real entrepreneur, really great lady. Um, started a business in Burien, you'll hear all about it, but she's now here on Vashon and has this great service, is expanding to take out, uh, to delivery on the island, which is unheard of on Vashon. So come on in, enjoy the uh, interview, and then next time you're on Vashon, take home some Maven Mercantile. It's delish. Maven, tell me about how it got started and how come it's on the island. And because I know there's one in White Center. Burien. Burien. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I started Maven Meals, which mm -hmm. is the uh, sister company to Maven Mercantile mm -hmm. about eight years ago. Um, primarily focuses on meals that are made from scratch and delivered. Mm -hmm. And um, when we were at a point where we were outgrowing the uh, shared space we were working in, um, I found a spot in Burien that had a commercial kitchen that was already built out. And um, so we opened up the retail storefront and really started to develop that piece of it. And it's takeaway meals that people can come in, um, hot soups, um, some specialty entrees, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, the same type of things that we're doing through our meal delivery. And then really wanted to focus on uh, local products that are being um, produced by small purveyors between here and Portland for the most part um, to sell for our retail. So um, I moved to the island about three years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and how long was the mercantile in existence at that point? Um, it had been in existence for four years. Got it. Yeah. So um, moved over to the island myself and kind of I was doing the commute, getting back on island, you know, most nights after seven and quickly realized that there just weren't a lot of great options mm -hmm. if you didn't want to go sit down somewhere after Here. being away from That's home. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. And I mean, it's such a, you know, I, I love the house, you know, we right. live in. It was a great, you know, place. That's where I wanted to be. I didn't want to be out mm -hmm. at a restaurant when I'd been at one all day. Right. And so I really started to kind of keep my eyes open for a space that may work for bringing this concept to the island. And um, it was really a goal to make sure it was open past seven o'clock. So yeah. <laughs> we are open till eight. A lot of people don't know that. Um, but yeah, just to serve the commuter crowd and the people who are here on island that want a healthy meal that's easy, that they can take home and enjoy in the comfort of their own home. So uh, We use it all the time just for that. I mean, <laughs> that. My wife stops in, you know, she's like, I'm not cooking tonight. I'm just gonna go pick up a soup or, yeah. you know, even a, something to just supplement, not the whole meal, right. but just like, okay, right. I just need, <clears throat> you know, two sides because I can get a chicken or something. Right, right? exactly, like something like that. exactly. That's so, cool. Yeah, it's been really great. And I think um, we're, we're starting to have quite the following for our cookies. Yeah, our epic cookies have uh, really, that's been the most surprising part about um, opening up here, thinking it's gonna be all the like really healthy stuff uh -huh. people want and people are like clamoring for the I cookies. I need the cookies. So, yeah, all right, good. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. It's excellent. And so, you, so Burien still exists. Yes, it does. And this is, is the cook, where, where's the kitchen? Do you cook in both places? Nope, we just cook in, well, Primarily we cook in Burien. Uh -huh. um, that's where our commercial space is. Food comes out fresh daily. Mm -hmm. um, we have an employee who lives in Burien, comes out to the island, right. works here. Um, so that works really well. We bake cookies fresh throughout the day here I as can well smell as- that, yes. yeah. I know the people <laughs> in the video aren't gonna be able to smell yeah. that, but that is definitely- Yeah, and then our um, our pokey, our uh -huh. ahi pokey, and then our salmon, we, um, cook, we prepare here. here. Yep. So it doesn't have to make the make the trip. That's so, great. And yeah. you're still doing the, the traveling meals on the other side? We are. And we opened up our delivery, our home delivery to Vashon um, this winter. So, Isn't that great? Yep. How's that going? Um, it's going okay. I think that um, people who, I think there's such a culture of not being able to have something delivered to your door. Unbelievable here, right? I mean, you know, there's no Uber <laughs> yeah, and there's no... Yeah. yeah, so I think it's been a little bit, um, that being available has taken people a little bit of time to remember that like, oh, hey, that's an option. Right. So yeah, we're, we're continuing to get the word out to people and it is slowly growing and people who are taking us up on it are loving it, so That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. 
Very cool. And what brought you to the island? Why come out to Vashon? Yeah, I mean, you live here. I you know. know. <laughs> I, I love it. I... <laughs> no, um, I am from the Midwest, grew up where there is a lot of wide open spaces. Mm -hmm. And being in Seattle for the last over 15 years, I was really just kind of craving that um, mm -hmm. a little bit more space mm -hmm. to kind of spread my wings. And um, yeah, we were able to find a place that we had some property and some apple trees. And um, I'm also a pretty avid equestrian. Mm. Um, and the equestrian community here on the island is yeah, strong, fantastic. Yeah. And so um, I ride uh, down on Maury Island and have a horse down there. And so that was really great to be 10 minutes away as opposed to, you know, an hour away. And, um, you know, when you're a busy entrepreneur, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, those that amount of time makes a big difference. Totally. So, um, yeah, I've been really been able to come up with a much better work life balance being here on the island because mm -hmm. I just feel like everything is so, um, so accessible and I am able to work from home quite a bit now. So, That's great. And it's so you've great. Got great management that yeah. runs both places. Yes, I that do. So I'm key. really, really, really fortunate. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. It's taken a minute to get there, but yeah, yeah. It's more than a <laughs> it, minute, feel, you know. it feels really good. To, yeah, it that's feels a, really good to get there. That's so. really great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Heidi. Well, I know. Hey, look, it's a, it's such a boon. To, it really is a boon to the community because as part of the community to have some place where you could stop and get something that's thoughtfully prepared, yeah. you know, and that's really the key is that it's, you know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Lauren's opening up. Uh, Ruby Brink. To, yeah, you're, you're we're right. going tonight. Oh my God, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> I can't wait. It's really, but you know, again, it's it's like Mays or it's like Melinda's. Of a, mm -hmm. a, it's thoughtfully prepared. Like someone had an right. idea of what it was supposed to taste like. Yeah. And they made it that way. Yeah. And it's and so it's just fabulous. And Thank I really you. appreciate your your being here and bringing it to the island. Yeah. And, it's given me a really great opportunity to connect with a lot of people yeah. on the island as well. So yeah. it's been it's gone both ways. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.